Hey guys, welcome to episode three of What People Say About Elmhurst Hoopla. Today I'm gonna to be talking to my immediate neighbors and people who live in the neighborhood and others who were inside my hoop house when it was up from 2015 to 2017. So you can hear directly from them what they thought about the hoop house. Was it loud? Did it cause flooding? Were there any objections from the large majority of those who actually lived near or experienced the hoop house directly? Also, if you'd like more details than I can give in this video, please feel free to stop by the website at elmhursthoopla.com. And you can also check out the page on Facebook at Elmhurst Hoop House Supporters. All right, here we go. with um, Nicole and Dan or, um, Virgil and we live two doors down uh, at Elmer's in 1995. House. When the hoop house was up in 2015 and 2016, could you see it from your backyard? No. No, you couldn't? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Could you hear it from your backyard? No. no. Could you um, see it or hear it from the street? No. No. Never. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Really no, I, I don't think I noticed it was up until um, early, early spring. Maybe it was like a nice day out and we were all outside. Okay. And, I mean, it, it looked, it was char I don't want to say charming because it wasn't a house, but I mean like, it, it, it really did. It wasn't hodgepodgey. It wasn't like plastic was just thrown everywhere. It took the time and it looked, it, it, it looked very nice. I mean, it was very nice. It did look homemade at all. Did either of you, there, there's been um, a complaint to the city that the hoop house made a similar amount of noise as a freight train going through the neighborhood. No. Can you speak to that? No. I think that's kind of ridiculous because I've never heard it once. So, I mean, I didn't even know you really had it. So you didn't feel that there no. was a noise pollution issue? No. I just shouldn't lose sight of that it's the, it's gardening yeah <laughs> right. right and you're just right. wanting the freedom to to garden right you know right so okay. i'm stacy nalt um i'm a neighbor of nicole virgil and uh we moved here six years ago from seattle um, so you could see the hoop house from your backyard i could see the very top of it and okay. i thought what are they doing <laughs> And I, I thought the construction looked really nice. Yeah, North Tower. Um, I was that. impressed. Yeah. <laughs> if it had been me putting up, it wouldn't have looked like that, I promise you. <laughs> have you attended any city meetings? Oh, yeah. Have you followed anything on Facebook? Yeah, I've been, I've been following it ever since you came. And um, I went to a few of the city meetings. I want to say three. Okay. One I spoke at, um, just explaining... Uh, that I was a neighbor and I didn't notice any problem with noise. Um, I thought it was actually quite aesthetically pleasing. And that um, I know there was an issue about water runoff, which made no sense to me because it, there was no cement underneath. Um, so you felt that it was aesthetically suitable for the community on a oh, temporary basis? Oh, for sure. Basis? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, and for, for me personally, like what it represents also, I think kind of added to its, I mean, I, I thought it was very well built. It looked nice, um, but then knowing what it was and knowing that you were growing vegetables in there through the winter um, made it seem even all the more beautiful to me. Yeah. You know? yeah. My name is Lisa Gerhold Dirks, and I've lived in Elmhurst for 16, 17 years now. Oh, yeah. Um, I have been involved in an organization in town called Elmhurst Cool Cities Coalition, and we um, do a lot of outreach and education to community members about all things sustainable from renewable energy to composting to reducing waste to and gardening. Fresh uh, vegetable growing is, is one of those issues that we support in general. Then one of my acquaintances in town had already reached out to you uh, and arranged a little mini tour 
of your hoop house. Right. So I came right. along on that, and uh, we got to go in the hoop house before it had to be taken down. And um, it was just it was really nice going in. The hoop house itself looked looked amazing. I was very impressed on the um, the way it was built, and um, I I just remember thinking when I first got here that. Uh, that it wasn't a big deal, that it wasn't overly large or in, intrusive um, compared to what might be going on with the city's complaints and all that. So I, I was impressed and the, the I didn't notice the noise, you know, uh, the plastic was gently kind of moving back and forth a little bit, kind of like if you were in a camping tent or something, it wasn't loud. So. I was, I just walked away thinking, wow, this is great, and, and I don't understand why it shouldn't be allowed here. Okay, okay. Can you tell the people watching a little bit about yourself? Who are you? Um, I'm Trish Williams. I live in the neighborhood, former close neighbors with Dan and Nicole, and um, I have uh, lived in Elmhurst for uh, 21 odd years. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. wow. And I couldn't understand why there was such an issue. So I reached out to you to find out what the situation was and why you were having such a hard time. Yeah, so as I recall, uh, we worked out a visit where you came over to see the hoop house uh, for yourself. Yeah. Right. Do you remember that? Yeah. Um, yeah. We have been told by the code enforcement department that there have been complaints that our hoop house produces more noise than a freight train. Was that your experience when you Not at all. Not at all. And I never felt that it was any kind of nuisance as far as noise concern was concerned. I don't even recall having hear, heard any noise mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's our experience as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you think all of the consternation is about? What is your observation? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe they don't like the way it looks. Don't, don't look at it. <laughs> if they looked inside, they would see that it's beautiful inside. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't understand what the issue is. I don't get it. So, sure. Hello, my name is Elise and um, Elise Valera. I live on the south side of Elmhurst, not too far from you. What, maybe about? four blocks over, something like that. So um, you and I have a mutual friend and um, he tipped me off that I have a neighbor that might be in need of some support. And um, so I went to Facebook and I think it was probably about the same time that the CBS news story was coming out. Right. So, um, you know, I watched the news story and um, went to Facebook and was looking through some threads of people talking about it. And um, I think I remember asking you, like, well, where, I think I messaged you, like, well, can I, where, where you live? Can I see it? And I, I had to drive up and down your street a couple times to um, try to find, find it because it wasn't very obvious from the street. Um, but then I finally saw it and kind of read, you know, with what I had read about it on Facebook, you know, I kind of became interested because I'm also a fellow gardener, a fellow vegetable gardener. Um, when you stopped by to see the hoop house, um, how much noise was there created by the hoop house? There wasn't any noise. So I think you get the idea. The people who testified here are not in any elaborate conspiracy to work on my behalf. Most of them didn't know that there was gonna be an interview until a few days before, and none of them collaborated with each other. They simply spoke the truth about the realities involved with living next to or being inside our hoop house. I think the truth speaks for itself, don't you?